Our next guest is one of the funniest comedians around his show, The Upshaws. It's back for a third season. Give it up for Mike Epps. Yeah. You have a new show, like when you fix up houses in your old neighborhood. Uh -huh. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. Oh, my huh? God. Where did that idea come from? Well, you know, me and my wife, we, we started buying houses uh, early on in, in, in the gentrified neighborhoods. Those houses are maybe about... 15, 20 years ago, they was $5 each house. <laughs> oh you can get a house for $5. Now they worth $200,000. So, you know, that's, that's the layout that they're doing in these cities. So I started buying the houses. And um, as the neighborhoods progress, yeah. I told my wife, we need to go back there, man, and get us a show on HGTV. Because we watch HG, HGTV all the time. I, I said, man, we back here building on these houses. We need to show the people that we building on the houses. Yeah. So, yeah, she did most of the work. I just paid for it. <laughs> Don't know how it go. <laughs> Did your mom help inspire that too? My mom definitely inspired it, man. You know, uh, my mom passed away in 2020, rest her soul. Sorry to hear that. And uh, uh, we we have a foundation called Jerisa's Dream, you know, because her name was Jerisa. So my mom loved interior decorating. That was her thing. She used to watch this old house and yeah. Better Homes and Garden Books was always around the house. So. Yeah, I think my mom inspired us. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. A good way to remember your mother. Oh, yeah. How yeah. many siblings do you have? I got, I, I have eight. I, it's eight of us. You had to think about it, huh? Yeah, I had to think about it because <laughs> they still popping out on me now. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, my dad passed, rest his soul, and I'm meeting new brothers and sisters now, you know. <laughs> Uh, that, don't do, uh, 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 what's they call ancestors? Don't do that. Don't do it? Don't do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boy, they are popping out. That's how they do. They popping out. <laughs> <laughs> you a busy man. Yes, ma'am. Like, like, you just did, like, work with Eddie Murphy again? Work with Eddie Murphy Oh, again. my God. What is that like? Man, you know Eddie Murphy, man. Big shout out to Eddie Murphy, yes. man. You know Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I wish I could have been on this set right here. Oh, man. Every say, I did my first uh, movie, the first thing I ever did with Eddie was Dr. Doolittle, and that was years ago. But yes. Ever since I've been working with Eddie, man, he got the magic touch. I've been getting all kind of good work. I told him, too. I said, <laughs> Eddie, I, I'm running out of work. I need to be seen with you again. Yes. Man. <laughs> Yes, because y'all known each other for a long time. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been watching Eddie Murphy since I was a kid, so to be standing there with him, I didn't want to go fan out right. and get too, you know. Because so he, he I got had that to, effect. Yeah, he had, had that effect. I'm like, oh, man, I'm standing here with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Every time we get a break, I call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing right here. He got a black leather jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand. Yes. But again, yeah, you're doing big things. Now you're doing a Marvel movie? Yeah, I got a chance to be in a Marvel That's movie. That's exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. You will never stop. Yeah. Oh, and, I, you know, I play a black guy in most of the movies that uh -huh. I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, this is my good show. It is? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, thank you for I love watching you on the I camera in the house. He like the soundtrack of the house. I got to feel it before I go to sleep. It's my just, y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. Congratulations, because it's doing extremely it. well. Yes, it is. Got a third season. Third season? Third season, yeah. I this, be like you. Yeah, we was fortunate enough to get a third season, man. But... Shout out, shout out to our, shout out to our writers, man, Regina Hicks, uh, Wanda Sykes, yes. and the staff, man, for writing a great show. Um, and, and we were able to get uh, uh, Kim Fields, yep. who we know is legendary. We've been watching her since she was a kid. Yep. So, so you know, with us three coming together, man, and a great cast, man, we were able to do a good show. You know, a good family it's show. It's great. It's yeah. so good. Yes, ma'am. I mean, you got the right formula, right? So, yeah. but when did you realize this is a hit? You know what? With, you know, in Hollywood, when you when you think of an idea, um, it's so raw in the beginning, and then you go through these different stages and phases. Because I've had a couple television shows, and you know, it's a lot of hard work getting them going, mm -hmm. and some of them don't work. You know, so you you know, and you, sometimes you feel like the work was just uh, you know, it just wasn't worth it, but. For this show right here, I thought about an idea uh, kind of loosely based off of my life is what this show is. And I called Wanda Sykes. I said, Wanda, let's do a show together. And she said, okay, well, shoot me the idea. I shot her the idea, and she loved it. So 
we had already had a relationship with uh, Netflix, me and her from doing stand-up there. We went over there, we shot the pilot. They loved the pilot. We ended up doing the first season. They loved the first season, we did two. And now we just, we be grateful and blessed to be on three seasons. Three seasons? Three seasons. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.